guys welcome back to my channel i am sophie thanks so much for clicking on this video and for today i'm doing a it's either gonna be a two in one or a three in one um get ready with me so i did my hair my makeup and yeah actually today is new year's eve i'm about to go out with a few friends so um if you guys are new here please make sure to hit that subscribe button okay and let's go ahead and get right into the video Okay guys, so this is the hair that I'm going to be using, well the ponytail that I'm going to be using. Looks like this, Pony Pro, and it's like the wraparound band kind of method. So this is the hair. So this is just the old Flexi Rod set that I did, which will be on the screen, you can watch that video So, But I'm just going to moisturize my hair a little bit with this uh, macadamia leave-in cream. I really like this stuff. I'm gonna take some of these Mayo um, Rosemary Mint Drops just on my edges because I feel like mine are kind of getting a little thin. So, Ooh, okay, guys, and what I'm doing here is just further getting out all those tangles and just not just so the hair can be super smooth. And then I'm going in with my favorite gel, Eco Styler Gel, to slick my hair down and smooth it out. And now I'm using, I never use jam because I'm not a big fan of jam, but when it comes to a style like this, slicking the hair for a while, then this works well for me. And I'm getting a hard Borbrix brush, smoothing it out. And then I'm getting two ponytail holders to make sure my ponytail is really tight and secure. And tying that bad boy on up. Do y'all see this instant face look? I mean, I'm young, but I love wearing a good ponytail or high bun because it just pulls everything up. Looks great. I'm just braiding my little um, ponytail down so I can hide it under my pony, my fake ponytail. So guys, before I really, really slick down my hair with the Got To Be Free Spray, I'm gonna brush out my edges first. Okay, back with the voice over. So I'm getting my blow dryer, and I learned this trick from, I don't know, maybe Arrogant Tate, but um, this is after I sprayed the free spray on there, and this is just going to make sure everything is dried into place. Here is the fake ponytail that I'm showing y'all, and I've never seen this kind before at the beauty supply store, but it was really convenient, and it's, as you can see, it comes with like a comb that you can stick down into your real hair, and then um, you just wrap it around. This was super duper convenient and better than me trying. I was trying to make my own ponytail with some wheat, some bundles earlier, and it was as a fail. So, shout out to the beauty supply store. And I'm just wrapping um, that ponytail part around and securing it with bobby pins as I go. And then this is the extra piece that came with it that's made for wrapping uh, around to hide the band, hide the wefts, all that good stuff. And so I sprayed it with a little bit of free spray to make sure that it, you know, it's going to hold in place. Now, while this ponytail was convenient, oh, right here I am get my bow dryer and just once again making sure everything dries in place so it's nice and dry and nothing's moving around now I said this ponytail was super convenient but at first it was I was yeah, I was having a time tough time trying to deal with it and my face says it all right here it looked a mess so I went back in and I cut um, the hair because it was too long and just stringy and fake looking for my taste so I cut it um, I went in and teased the top parts make it look a little fuller and yeah it looked much better after I had to finesse 
Okay guys, so I finished the ponytail. I was trying to go for like a like preppy cheerleader type of ponytail look. So um, I think I have it to the desired length. I had to tease it a little bit because it was looking a little thin and I didn't want that no thin skimpy looking ponytail. So obviously I have not laid my edges yet. So I'm going to uh, lay my edges and then I'm going to we can go ahead and get into the makeup portion. And we're back, baby. So I am going in with my Marc Jacobs um, face primer, which I really like for the most part. It's nice. Then my NYX eyebrow pencil in Espresso. Um, yeah, this works pretty good. I've been using this, well, the NYX eyebrow pencil brand for years. And I like it. Now, I didn't show you guys, but I did conceal my eyebrows with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Toffee. And now, I'm going in. Y'all, look at this little baby size. <laughs> Fenty, this is a Fenty Beauty Pro, what is it? Soft Pro filter foundation. I only have a little trial size, so that's what I'm using, and I like it. Blend that out with an e.l.f. Um, dome foundation brush. Or oh, Now I'm taking three different concealers, the Urban Decay, um, the Maybelline Naked, what? Y'all, my bad. Urban Decay, <laughs> Naked Skin, the Maybelline Age Rewind, and the NARS Creamy Radiant in Caramel. Oh, right here I was just going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel just to, I don't know, lock my brows in place, I guess. I don't know where they going, but that's what I did. Blending out that concealer. Okay, and I didn't show you guys, but the under eye powder that I'm using is the uh, airspun powder you can get from Walmart mixed with the Black Radiance Loose Setting Powder. And now I'm getting my Sephora Micro Smooth um, Finishing Powder and just going over the rest of my face. And this is the Black Radiance Contour Palette, and I'm taking um the not the darkest shade uh, well the shade palette is the dark to deep and i'm taking the medium shade and kind of i don't know if you would say contouring but bronzing up my cheeks and i'm taking that exact same color and putting it on my eyelids so my eyelids match my uh little contour for a nice warm look and now i'm just getting my beauty blender and blending out just any harsh lines or making sure everything is blended. I'm also doing that with my whatever is left over on that uh, powder brush. And this is the Milani blush in Coral Cove. I just got into wearing blush because, uh, yeah. But now this is the eyeshadow palette. And I literally just use um, a golden shade in that eyeshadow palette and just put it in my like inner tear duct for like a, I don't know, a bright effect. I'm about to spray my face with this Urban Decay All Night or Spray Boo so my makeup can last all day. Or all night, I should say. And now for the lip, as y'all can see, I came back with some lashes on. Hello. And now I'm lining my lips with the Milani Lip Liner in It Girl. And it's a nice dark brown shade. 
after the line, I'm going in with my MAC lipstick and uh, mule it over. And it's in like the um, soft matte finish. And then my lip cream from Buxom. This is actually a lip plumping lip cream. I don't, I mean, I don't be thinking that lip plumping stuff works, but I like the color. And then my Lorac uh, Pro Lip Gloss in Southern Belle. And that one is kind of pinky. So I try to just focus that on the center. But I really like this lip. It's like my go-to lip now that I discovered. Now right here I'm just kind of, you know, seeing how everything look. Cute or what over. Okay guys, so as far as the hair and the makeup, this is the completed look. Um, and then of course I'll come back for the outfit portion show you guys but yeah this time I did something really different I doubled up my eyelashes to make them look a little bit more voluminous but this is it